Hello, Archie Luxury, Paul Pluto channel. I'm the method actor who plays Paul Pluto. Remember, like, subscribe, and tell your circle jerking friends about my channel. I need the views. I need the subscribers. I need it all, fuckers. Don't forget, look in the description for 10 ways you can help me stay full time on YouTube. It could sponsor me on Patreon. You could organize a paid review because I don't do shit for free. You could organize a telephone call with Archie. So let's jump straight in. This is from MT. Hello Archie, thanks in advance for the for your kind help doing this watch review for me. Please call me by my name, MT. I'm in my early 30s. I'm getting married in 2017 in fall. I believe it is now a perfect time to get a new watch that I can wear to the wedding ceremony and future formal occasions, i.e. trial for embezzlement, and divorce court, and alimony court, and child support court. Okay. What I want to get is an 18K yellow or white gold watch. Any models are fine. Not need to be restricted to formal dress watches, i.e. the day date. For your information, here are my watches that I currently own. Rolex Stainless Steel Daytona M Series. Rolex Two Tone Submariner 16, 116613LB. Got it last summer. Uh, Rolex 36mm Two Tone Datejust. A gift from my father. He is now having a great time with the Patek color. Trial Fuck. Panerai 44mm Three Days GMT. Pam 321. Cartier 40mm Pasha. Bulgari Diagono Professional, Bulgari Ergon Chrono Carbon, my first watch, and some Seldom Amani Quartz, a meaningful gift from friends. Please let me know your opinion. Rolex watches are highly favoured, but I'm open to new options. Thanks again. Keep up the good work. Your video make me laugh all the time. Best regards, MT. Jesus, MT, that's uh, fantastic. It's great to have Moolah! It's great to have Moolah. And I gotta say, looking at your collection there, it does pop. It really fucking pops. And uh, I quite like it. You've got the the Daytona is fucking cool. Two-tone sub is cool. 36mm two-tone is cool. Panerai is cool. The Cartier 44 mil. Ooh, don't know why you went there. That was a mistake. And you got two Bulgaris and an Amani shitter. Okay, fair enough. We all make mistakes. Um. Oh, Cartier Pasha. That's right. Look, that's a Pasha. Okay, simple as this. You're getting married. I can't talk you out of the marriage, but let me talk to you. I reckon if you want a really cool watch, could you stretch a Calatrava? Can you? Okay, that's expensive. Okay, fair enough. You know what would be really cool? We don't want to. We don't want to take away from your dad. Why don't you get a fucking gold reverso? A gold reverso. A gold reverso. That's such a cool thing. It's a special occasion watch. Get a gold reverso. That would really fucking pop. I love a gold. It doesn't matter what model. Just get a gold. Get a, get a grand size. Get a gold fucking reverso. That is a cool, cool piece. Timeless. Art Deco elegance. Now, if you don't want to go there, you want to go somewhere else, you want something with a bracelet, you've hit it on the head. You don't need my help. Rolex day date. Get the 18K. Get a 18238 or a 118238. Or you could go, uh, the day date 2 I think is too big. I, I, I don't like that. And day date 40 is too expensive because we don't buy new. We don't buy new fuckers. We buy used. And yeah, I gotta fucking tell you, I reckon. I reckon go either day date gold, maybe diamond dial, uh, or if you get a fucking 
get a uh, reverso. So damn cool. So cool. Cool. Ultimate dress watch. The watch snob said so. Archie said so too. But I. A Calatrava would be cool too. But that's big money. It's real, real frosting hurt. I reckon you want a good gold watch, get a fucking reverso or a day date. The choice is yours. I leave it to you, MT. I leave it in your hands. So nice collection. I don't don't be buying any more Bulgaris. That is a fucking mistake. And uh, don't be buying anything more from Cartier. They are shitters. Shitters. Real shitters, Cut. I, I I used to love that brand. Now I despise it. I really fucking besides vintage model Cartier, fucking despise that brand. So that's that's my thinking there. I love I mean I love the Daytona, I love the two tone sub, I love the two tone Datejust. Panerai, yes, I can live with that. The Cartier And the Bulgari Fuck, I just want to vomit in the backyard. But I reckon gold, yeah, get, get a reverso or get a day date. That is so damn cool. Wear it everywhere, man. You are the man. You're the man. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent five thousand dollars. It's like if you put money in the safe deposit box, and one or two years from now, you will keep having your five thousand dollars. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I doing what I supposed to do. It's not a question of money; it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.